Adding fill in the blank or complete the sentence style questions in Anki is very easy and it's done using the close deletion note type. And so we'll add one of those right now. So I'll click on add to add card. Make sure I'm selecting close deletion note type. Again, make sure um, this is going to be added to the deck that I intended it to. And I'm going to enter some text here. I've uh, got some that I prepared earlier. Uh, and you'll see that um, the text that I want to make blank in this case um, is the quick brown fox. So I can go up to the right hand side of the ad window and there's an ellipsis sign there, which if I click, it's going to enter in some formatting around that word. That signals to Anki that it should blank out that word and present me with quick when I ask for the answer. Now, another thing I can do is add a couple of colons to the end of that. And let's say I want a, a, a hint uh, for this word so that when I'm presented with a question, I have an idea of what kind of um, attribute of a brown fox I'm looking for. So the hint I'm entering is speed. Now, if I wanted to also test myself on the style of dog, uh, I could again add in another close. What this has done is created two cards. So I usually use the terms note and card interchangeably, but technically I'm wrong because when you're creating a new note in Anki, like we're doing here, it's possible for it to create two cards. And so when I save this, I'll see two items enter into my browse window. We'll do that now and I'll show you what uh, it looks like when I preview it. So you'll see these two cards. If I then preview, it's first asking me for the speed of the brown fox. It's quick. And on the second card, it's going to ask me for the attribute of the dog being lazy. Now, if I wanted to test myself on both of those attributes, just on the one card, I can do so by just changing the C2 reference to a C1. That means it's going to present them all on card one. So I'll show you what that then looks like. But unfortunately, what that's left us with is another card, which is actually blank. And the way we get rid of blank cards is to go out of the browse view into the deck view and click on empty cards and what it's done is it's found that empty card and I can delete that card that's the best way to go about deleting excess cards that are created and this often happens in closed deletions if I'd actually just selected that second card and hit my delete key it would have deleted both, so you want to avoid doing that.